Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 4, and we're going to be at part 3 now. So, we just finished Feral Man's stage, and my emulator kind of screwed up on me, so... Three robots down, five to go. So, according to the order, now we have to do Ring Man. Of course, when I, did, when I did this for Buster only, like, I just finished yesterday, I pretty much picked whoever I choose, because it doesn't matter, you know, like, who they're weak against, because I can't use it, you know? So this, this level is pretty chaotic. I'm just gonna say this right now. You got auto-aiming turrets coming at you, and, well, it's just not pretty. And you've got these platforms that, like, well, part of the, part of them disappear, and you just, you kind of gotta, like, know what you're doing before you, you know, start to cross them. This room, you just want to run right through. Yeah, run, not slide, Andrew. Run. Run for your life. Does that ring a bell? Okay, so, let's see here. Now, since, you know, those platforms are pretty short, I can just, you know, get across by jumping, so... This, I just gotta be very careful on. There we go. And here's and here's a good example where you can use the the flash stopper. All right, so see this big platter or whatever it is. Take your bright stopper and shoot. And then that freezes the bullets. And if you're lucky, the missiles that you hit will supply you with bullets. Well, it'll supply you with more weapon ammo. Now, usually I don't use this method because, you know, I usually like to be badass and just try and dodge the bullets as they are. But, I just thought I'd show that off. And also show off what the balloon does, since we're in a level where we can utilize it. It's... It's in a way the same deal as the Rush Coil, but it's... It's got its differences. Alright, so let's quickly get up here before that platform disappears on us. And... Shoot that guy before he becomes a pain. Very careful here, you know, death spikes. I don't think I need to warn you guys. And these guys can be just annoying if you don't know how to deal with them. This guy I hate. But there's a pattern to him. Like, see how he jiggles left and right? Once he jiggles both left and right three, three um, times, he'll shoot himself out. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you just pay attention to, like, you know, that movement right there, you know, just look for subtle, little subtleties. You'll have him down in no time. The only thing that's really a pain is when he, um, when he's, like, actually... The only thing that's really a pain about him is if you're trying to do a no-hit run, you've watched, like, Roll Make Rules videos that I've, like, told you guys about quite a lot, um, you can have a, like, um, even if he's dying, he can still hit you. That's the sad reality of it. And I thought I'd just show off the Pharaoh shot. Now you can, now you can shoot it like this, or you can charge, or you can charge it up. But for now, let's, um, use the balloon. So, it acts kind of like Rush Coil, except it's more of a platform deal. 
It slowly goes up and then after a certain amount of time disappears. And that introduces a new character to the show. His name is Eddie. And what he'll do is he'll, through, throughout, um, throughout different parts of different stages, he'll appear once in, in certain stages, and, like, um, and, and give you certain items, which can really help sometimes. Now watch this. You can charge this up, and you can, you can shoot it like that. Now since we're going to be needing it for the boss, I'm not going to be abusing it. So sorry. And now these platforms, they go in the opposite direction that um the old ones do. But that's all good. Now let's be very careful when banishing that that Saturn Seeker. That's the proper term for the enemy name. And yeah, I've been killed in that area several times just for not paying attention. Oh, and guess what? Actually, that was a little early on, on, on the talking, but... Guess what? We got one of those green things again! Yes. Let's just kill you and get you over with. Do you want to be done easy or hard-boiled? Or medium or whatever. That was a horrible mistake, trying to associate cooking with killing people. Even though we are killing animals like really cooked meat, if you know what I mean. Don't you just love it, like, when I get into, like, the most random topics? Makes the elf that more interesting. That much more interesting is what I mean. Okay, so now we equip the Pharaoh shot. Or the ferret shot. No, I'm just kidding. So I'm just gonna use regular shots, because even though charge shots like never mind. He's got an easy pattern to memorize, so. Okay, so, if you charge it up, look how it floats over your head. You might not have seen that for very long, but, um, if you happen to hit an enemy with that charge shot while it's floating over your, over your head, without actually shooting the enemy, you don't use any weapon energy. So, it's, it's a simple glitch that, you know, they, they forgot to correct in this game. So, we get the Ring Boomerang. And it's time to move on to Dust Man. Because that's what Dust is weak to for some reason. Maybe it's got to do with if you buy a woman a ring and you let her gather dust, she she'll bitch slap you. I'm not sure. I'm not a relationship expert. Give her a dusty old ring <laughs> just to get her to marry you. Here, this ring's very dusty, but I'm sure you'll understand the meaning of our love. <laughs> and those big shield guys, if you didn't notice, they take four hits to kill. Very simple. One, two. Yay! I can never make that jump. I always wonder what's beyond that jump. And we had a new enemy. This guy, um, obviously is pretty durable. He, he's durable, but he's not really a threat. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna be showing off a, a specific weapon I use to, to deal with this bitch, because he's just that annoying. Well, and these ladybug things that are flying around, they're not too, they're not that bad, but, um, they have their moments in the stages where they can just be a pain. Just don't let them knock you into the pits. Let's see if I can get energy off one of these. 
Um, you know, let's 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 stick around here for a bit. Okay, whatever. Aw, oh, damn it. That that enemy's gonna respawn anyways. Well, here's Eddie again. What do you got for me this time, man? Large energy pellet. Thank you, man. Really, I appreciate that. Give me something useful. And now we got now we actually got crushers. Which is no fun if you Well, they're no fun at all. So you just quickly maneuver through them. Ooh, we got a one-up! Oh my god, we got a one-up! Okay, that wasn't very smart of me. I got a one-up and then I died. Brilliant. Just fucking brilliant. And I also kind of forgot the pattern of these dust crushers, so I'm going to be very careful from now on. This might take a while, but I'm going to have to just clear everything. Yeah, I got through, I think. So basically, it was just that part that was annoying. Okay, now that we're through... Got another gumball machine! Yay! Give me some candy, bitch! Or I'll shoot my own candy at you. It won't be candy that you like, motherfucker. Uh, I'm so embar I'm embarrassing myself so badly with this LP. <laughs> Just by the amount of like obnox obno obnoxicity, whatever you want to call it, obnoxious comments. <laughs> like, give me my candy, motherfucker. All right, so let's pull out this guy's weakness and let's fucking kill him. Now you're gonna notice right off the bat that this guy has a very simple pattern. He's he either shoots his dust crusher out at you. He does one of three things. Shoot his dust crusher, try to suck you in, like he's done several times to me. Well, he can suck my... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Either he, like... Either he sucks you in, jumps like a fucking grasshopper, or tries to dust you to death. He tries to dust you off, unfortunately. So with that, um... That ends... That ends part three, I think. Well... We are dust crusher! And damn right we did. That, the Dust Crusher is actually not a bad weapon, if you know how to use it. But for now, we're gonna, um, bleed this to, um... For now, we're gonna leave this. This is the end of Part 3 of Mega Man 4. So, till then, guys, take care, do whatever, yeah. Peace. See you in Part 4.